So it goes without saying that here at the mass immersion approach, we value immersion very highly when it comes to acquiring a foreign language. But when we're thinking about immersion, of course, quantity of immersion is extremely important, and we spend a lot of time talking about that, but we also have to take into account the quality of immersion if we're trying to fully optimize the language acquisition process. And when it comes to quality of immersion, there are multiple different factors we need to take into account, such as the quality of your own attention, how much attention are you paying, in addition to factors that relate to the immersion resource itself, such as how comprehensible is it, how much do you enjoy it, and among other factors, something important we need to take into account is immersion density. Language density could be defined as, for each hour that you spend consuming a given piece of content in your target language, how much exposure to the language do you really get? So for example, if we're talking about things like podcasts, they're extremely language dense because for a duration of a podcast, people are normally speaking the entire time with little to no blank space in between. Whereas if we're talking about a visual medium like a movie or a TV show, because there's probably gonna be sections where storytelling is being done through visuals, there will be sections where no one is actually speaking, there's no dialogue, and so you're not actually getting exposure to your target language. So clearly, the more language dense a piece of immersion material is, the more beneficial it is to you as a language learner. Now, unfortunately, the most language dense immersion materials, such as radio shows, podcasts, and novels, and things like that, tend to be kind of inaccessible to beginner and low intermediate learners. And so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to take things like TV shows and movies and increase their immersion density, specifically for passive immersion. So I'm about to explain the technique, but I just wanna warn you guys up front that it might sound a little complicated at first, but once you actually see me doing it in the demonstration, I think it's going to be extremely simple. So just try to stick with me. So this technique relies on a program called Subs to SRS, which you probably already know about if you're watching this video. So Subs to SRS is this program where you can import a video file and a subtitle file in your target language, and then end up with an Anki deck, which will have one card for every single line in the show that you imported, along with the audio for that line taken from the original show. So what we're gonna do in this technique is take all of the audio files from a Subs to SRS deck and combine them into a single file that you can use for passive immersion. So what I mean by this is that when you think about all those MP3s that are gonna be exported when you make a Subs to SRS deck, those are basically every single time that something was being said in the original file that you imported. And so if we just take all of those individual files and combine them, we're gonna be left with the audio for the original show with all the blank spaces taken out. So it's just gonna be packed full with people speaking the entire time. So I've been doing this recently with shows that I've watched in Chinese, and I find that if I put a around 40 minute show into subs to SRS and then do this technique, the audio file that I'm left with at the end is around 20 minutes long, which means that it's being reduced by literally 50%, which means that you're getting literally twice as much immersion when you listen to this combined condensed audio file instead of the original. Now, Yoga has actually written a script for you guys that makes it extremely easy to do this on both Mac and PC. And so I'm gonna jump into the demonstration and show you guys how it works and show you guys how actually it's pretty easy to do. So I'm gonna be doing the demonstration on my PC right here, but I'm also gonna add a clip of how to do it on Mac towards the end. So I'm gonna put a link in the description to download this mp3combiner.zip. So go ahead and download that and then extract the contents, which is just the mp3 combiner folder to wherever you wanna store it on your computer. Now inside of the mp3 combiner folder, there's just gonna be two simple files. One of them is combiner.bat, which is a script that Yoga wrote to basically just run mp3cat on all of the files contained within this folder. So mp3cat is this third party program that we found on GitHub. So I'll put a link to the GitHub in the description that basically just combines mp3 files, but it does it in a kind of unique way where it removes the metadata and file identifying information from all of the mp3s before combining them. And this is very important for creating a file that's not corrupt and is fully playable on any mp3 player. So if that didn't mean anything to you, don't worry, it doesn't really mean that much to me either because I don't know how to code, but basically, and some of the more simple methods of combining MP3s out there, the metadata and file identifying information for all the files are not removed before they're combined, and this makes you end up with a file that's kind of corrupt and won't fully play on other MP3 players. But as long as you're using the method that I show in this video, we can guarantee that it's going to work perfectly. So basically, all you have to do is 
dump all the mp3 files that you want to combine into this folder and then double click on combiner.bat and it's going to remove all of the individual files and leave you with a new file called combined.mp3 which is just going to be the condensed audio file that contains all of the individual files combined into one. So to demonstrate this, I've created a subs to SRS deck for the first episode of Ginga Eiyu Densetsu, or Legend of the Galactic Heroes. And you can see right here, I didn't generate any snapshots because for our purposes, we only need the audio. And if you've actually created a subs to SRS deck before, you'll know that it doesn't actually export a Anki deck file, an APKG. It actually just leaves you with a TSV file, which is a kind of text file and then a folder that contains all of the media files, which is in our case just the mp3s, one mp3 for each line. And so basically all we have to do is copy and paste all the files into the mp3 combiner folder. And again, I'm not going to drag and drop them. I'm going to copy and paste them because once you run combiner.bat, it's actually going to delete all of the original mp3 files and assuming that I wanted to actually import this into Anki afterwards, I would actually want to keep the original file. So I'm going to copy and paste them and then just run combiner.bat. And we see it uh, removed all the files and left us with this new file combined.mp3. Now, I just want to mention real quick that the very first time you run combiner.bat, it may get caught in your antivirus software or a thing might pop up saying that it's unidentified software. So just make sure that you give your computer permission to run the file because it's just a simple script. It's not a virus, I promise. And so, yeah, if that happens, no worries. That happened to me too the very first time I ran it. So now if we listen to the new file. So we can see that there's just dialogue happening throughout the entire clip with close to zero blank space. And when we actually look at the length of the file, it's 11 minutes and three seconds long, which is less than half of the length of the original anime file, which was 24 minutes. So we can see that by listening to this combined audio file instead of the full audio from the original, we're getting immersion that is literally twice as dense, which means we're getting twice as much exposure to the language as we would otherwise. So of course that's gonna lead to faster improvement. So pretty cool. So yeah, it's that simple. You just gotta drag files in here and then run combiner.bat. Uh, then you can move this file wherever you want and rename it if you want and put it on your MP3 player or whatever. Now make sure that you remove the combined.mp3 out of this folder before you run it a second time because that can mess it up. And yeah, so I actually have a couple more tips and tricks for easily creating these condensed audio files that involve you not having to make your own subs to SRS deck and so on. But because I actually want to make a video that's less than 10 minutes because I keep making videos that are way too long, I'm just going to cut it off here and show the Mac tutorial. And then I'm going to actually make a different video and upload it on my second channel that will show all the other tips and tricks that I've come up with for using this technique. So I'll put a link to that in the description. Check it out if you're curious. So it's pretty much the same deal on Macs, except on a Mac, by default, you can't execute a script unless you grant that script execution permission. And so we're going to have to grant permission to the terminal to execute this particular script. And in order to do that, it's really easy. All you have to do is, first of all, extract the mp3combiner.zip like any other zip file, and then right click on the mp3combiner folder and choose new terminal at folder. And then go ahead and enter in the command that you see on the screen and hit enter, and then you'll be ready to go. And I'll go ahead and put that command in the description so that you can just easily copy and paste it. And once you've done that, then you should be able to use the combiner.command in the exact same way that I showed how to use the combiner.bat in the PC section of the tutorial. And that granting permission thing is something that you only have to do once. So once you set it up, then you should be good to go in the future. So some of you guys might remember that a while ago, I created a video on listening immersion, which I'll link in the description, where I talk about how my recommended way to immerse for both beginner and intermediate learners is to spend your active immersion watching things that you've never seen before. And then for your passive immersion to re-listen to the audio from things which you've previously actively watched. And I go into the various benefits of that. And I think that this technique of creating condensed audio files fits in extremely well with this method where when you first actively watch something, of course you wanna be watching the full thing without condensing it or anything because the blank spaces are gonna be important for you visually following the plot and hearing the timing of the conversation and so on. 
but once you've already actively watched it, then you can take out the audio, condense it, and then listen to the condensed audio file as passive immersion. And that way for your passive immersion, you're getting extremely language dense immersion while at the same time not getting lost because you've already actively watched that thing the first time. And so you know what's going on. And although it might seem like a lot of work to be creating these condensed audio files with subs to SRS and everything, if you think about it, if you're either already using Morphman or you just like to use subs to SRS decks to easily get audio on your cards, then you already have all the work out of the way. All you have to do is go into your Anki Media folder, copy and paste the audio files into a separate file, and then run the script like I just showed a second ago. And so if you're kind of using all the techniques that I've talked about on this channel, such as the active and passive immersing with the same material and Morph Man and Subs to SRS, then really I think it's possible to set up a workflow where it's gonna be pretty easy to implement this stuff without too much messing with software and so on. So yeah, I hope this is useful to you guys. Shout out to Yoga for creating the script. I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.